TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Welcome, folks, to the 9 a.m. update. I'm your uh, host for this uh, segment here, Steve Rhodes. Uh, right now, equity futures are basically flat. You've got the Dow futures up four points, S&P down uh, three ticks, 0.75 uh, out there. NASDAQ is off 12, Russell 2000 off a point. So no real clear message from the equity futures markets as far as what their intention is as we have a flat market. U.S. dollar index is up uh, 20 pennies right now, trade out at 96.87. Gold is back seven bucks. Uh, so that's trading at 1288. With regard to uh, gold out here, it's possible that uh, it's in the process of forming a bottom. Last time it formed a top, it was doing so with less relative energy in a Tommy DeMarc setup nine count. It was on bar number eight, which is where markets can begin to make a change in trend. Clearly, that was the case. And right now, and uh, many of you may have attended Basil's uh, workshop last night, and so you'll be familiar with his uh, wave number seven, I believe. That is letter G. And that's what the uh, gold contract, this uh, five-hour time frame chart that we're looking at. Um, this is also, this is uh, Stevie Wonder singing in the key of G. This is also where markets can make turns out here. So watch gold. It's possible that gold is bottoming out there. Now, we may see a lower low. What I mean by a lower low is the seventh wave can extend uh, in as long if price does between now and 2 o'clock, close below 1287.10, then just simply that seventh wave uh, would extend. So there's two potential bottoming patterns for gold as we speak right now. What's needed is some type of bearish reversal candle and certainly at least a close above 129070. That's what I refer to as Stevie's red line out there. What else is it that you want to watch? By the way, gold itself is uh, is kind of perplexed right now because it's moving lower. It's made a lower low in terms of um, pounds but hasn't done the same with yen, has not done the same with euros. With regard to major instruments, you want to understand how they are trading in all of the currencies out here. Because when they trade lower in all currencies, you've got traders around the globe that are sellers. When they trade higher in all currencies, you've got buyers around the globe. So right now, what's the message of the markets? They're still bullish, but always keep your eyes open. Because there's a bear hanging out around the corner. Have a great Thursday. I'll look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Take care, folks.